Okay, hello, it's Jess, and I'm going to do a product review on the purple bed versus the sleep number bed because we had both of them and that's what I get mo asked most often is how do you like the purple bed compared to the sleep number bed? So we have had our purple bed for at least six months now. We still absolutely love it. It is a, I don't know, it's just, it's so nice. It's firm in the right places, but it, like it contours to your body. You know, when I lay on my side, my hips, my shoulders, you know, the heavier spots, I just kind of feel sink into the bed so that I'm comfortable. And the problem with the sleep number bed was, well, this is your body and the sleep number bed, you know, it sags in the middle, just on each side in the middle, it kind of sags for your back. And so if you're on your side, you can imagine like, you know, if I'm laying on my side, I'm like this, you know, my, my butts sunk in where I've lowered my number, but my upper body and my legs are up, which doesn't really give you as much support as you would need. And it ended up actually hurting my back and I don't have back problems. So in this bed, when I lay on my side, my hips sink in and probably a little bit of my upper body sinks in. But the nice thing about that is I move, if I move this way, ah, immediately I get the sinking in where it needs to be over here. Or if I lay this way, ah, now I'm sinking in here and here. Whereas the sleep number bed, it only sank in that one spot. So for the sleep number bed, if you sleep on your back all night long and your butt needs to be sunken in, it's a, maybe a great bed for you, but if you're like most people who probably don't sleep on your back all night, maybe it's not quite a great bed. And I can say my husband will never come on video because he's shy, but he's had two back surgeries. And we got the sleep number bed to relieve his back pain that he has. It did not work for him. He would still wake up with back pain. In fact, he couldn't even sleep very long because his back pain would get so bad. But he can't sleep on his back. His leg will start going numb, so he has to kind of sleep kind of like on his sides. And he can't sleep on his stomach because he's had an upper back surgery, so he can't turn his head, which I don't know how anybody would sleep on their stomach on a sleep number bed. Because it seems like, unless you have it on the firmest setting, and if you do that, what's the point of having a sleep number bed? I, I don't know. So, no comparison. This bed is hands, thumbs up so much better than the sleep number bed. I think I described everything, hopefully. The only other thing that I wanted to mention is a lot of people ask me if I get cold on the purple bed because it doesn't get hot like other beds because it has all those, you know, areas that lets heat escape. I don't know. So it's winter time right now and I know I live in Las Vegas, but it's actually cold this winter. It's like very cold and rainy. I'm not very happy. Anyways, I'm never cold in this bed. I don't know why. I'm not ever hot in this bed, but I'm also not ever cold in this bed. And I have the same blankets on, you know, just a, a thin little comforter and a, a little sheet. So I'm never cold. I, it's magic, apparently. Somehow this bed doesn't allow you to get hot, but you're not cold. So if you're worried about that, and I know I see a lot of people asking me, are you, are you cold? That's... No, I've never been cold in this bed. And I'm a cold person, so I would be cold. If anybody's going to be cold, it would be me. So that's my review comparing the sleep number bed versus the purple bed. Yeah, we had the sleep number bed for about four years. And when we got this bed, we could tell the difference immediately as to how our backs felt. So if you aren't a back sleeper and you don't want a really expensive air mattress, because that's what the sleep number bed kind of is. It's like got two little air pockets that kind of sink down. This is probably a better bed. So that's my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching.